check, check. Check one, two. Error. Two, two, two. Your Excellencies, very distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we welcome you this very lovely afternoon to a very special occasion, a very special celebration of a very special personality. We'd like to say a very warm welcome to all our invited guests from all across Nigeria here present, from far and wide, those who have traveled, those who have sojourned to come and celebrate a great Nigerian, a great man of his people, a great leader, a great father, a great Nigerian. We shall start the formal proceedings of events Any moment from now, we'll just give about three or five minutes for our distinguished guests to settle in. And then the band will also use those five minutes to do a bit of sound check. And immediately thereafter, we'll call the form up event to beginning. We'd like to appreciate everyone here this afternoon. Everyone is special, everyone is very important to the celebrant and indeed to the entire Ajayi family. We say thank you. Please be seated. There's a lot to eat, there's a lot to drink. It's a celebration of a very, very worthy celebrant. We welcome our special guest of honor. We welcome our chief luncher. We welcome our royal fathers. We welcome all our excellencies here at present. We say a very big thank you to all of you for coming. We want to especially also welcome our special guest of honor, the secretary to the government of the Federation as well. Uh, in due course, I will go over the recognitions, but let me just formally welcome everyone to this glorious celebrations.
happy 18th birthday and I wish you the very very best. God bless you. Greetings from Toronto, Canada. I'd like to wish Ashiwa Josiah Ajayi a very happy birthday. You know, an honorable person is one that is honest, noble, reputable, worthy of the greatest distinction, honor, and class. And sir, you are the perfect depiction of an honorable person. It has been said that he that does good for good sake, without looking for fortune or fame, will get both at the end. I mean, look at all these people joining physically and virtually from all over the world, celebrating you because your achievements are of monumental proportions and your legacy will continue to inspire generations to come. Sir, as your light has illuminated the paths of many, my prayer is that the Lord will continue to light your path with goodness. And we're looking forward to celebrating many, many, many more happy years with you. Again, happy 18th birthday and I wish you the very, very best. God bless you. Greetings from Toronto, Canada. I'd like to wish Ashiwajo Tayo Ajayi a very happy birthday. You know, an honorable person is one that is honest, noble, reputable, worthy of the greatest distinction, honor, and class. And sir, you are the perfect depiction of an honorable person. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much, Evangelist and Commander Ebenezer Obey on the bandstand today. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, our royal fathers, captains of industries, my Lord spiritual and temporal. Greetings from Toronto, Canada. I'd like to wish Ashiwajo Tayo Ajayi a very happy birthday. You know, an honorable person is one that is honest, noble, reputable, worthy of the greatest distinction, honor, and class. And sir, you are the perfect depiction of an honorable person. It has been so role model. I mean, it means so many things to so many people. Before we start off, welcoming um, the celebrants into the auditorium. Permit me to quickly acknowledge and welcome a few of our very distinguished guests here. Not in any particular order, but let me start uh, by welcoming our guest of honor for today. It's a great honor and pleasure that I welcome the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, here with his lovely wife, Mr. and Mrs. Boss Mustafa. You're most welcome. Please a round of applause for them. Lagos people, show them Abuja people that we know how to celebrate people. Thank you very much. Like I said, not in any particular order will I be doing the introductions, but um, His Excellency is here, uh, former governor of Ogun State, a very uh, leading light in the political uh, life of our great nation, Otumba Olubenga, Justice Daniel. You're most welcome, sir. Thank you very much for coming as well. I also like to, at this point, Welcome another leading light. Ogun State is just blessed, if I may say so myself. Uh, and I'm very lucky that even though my father is partly Goshen, uh, my mother is fully Ogun State. <laughs> so I claim the both, both sides. Uh, when they say, where are you from? Depending on when, where I wake up, I can say Ogun State. <laughs> I can say Lagos State. <laughs> All right, I'd like to also acknowledge our chief launcher for today in the presence of another distinguished son of Ogun State in the person of Dr. Ladi Adebutu. If he was in politics, we'll say Ladu. You're most welcome, sir. Thank you very much. His Excellency, former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, a man who is, whose um, influence transcends Nigeria and all uh, across Africa is the leading diplomat now, international diplomat of repute. I was with him on Monday. Uh, he's supposed to be here, but uh, I'm, I understand he's unavoidably absent. But his lovely wife, uh, mother of the state as well, is also here. Another very beautiful mother who has also been a leading light in championing various courses of humanity. Please welcome Chief Mrs. Bola Obasanjo, representing His Excellency President Olusegun Obasanjo, GCFR. You're most welcome. Man. Thank you so much for coming. I also have here another very special person who will be playing a major role here in the program for today. Um, he's, um, he's a man of the people and he's still uh, you know, once, once you're in politics, service is your life. It's a lifetime achievement. Whether you're in office, whether you're outside of office, you, service is a lifetime. And this man understands service to his people, service to the community, service to Nigeria. Please join me in welcoming our very own distinguished Senator Lekon Mustafa. Please a round of applause for him.
We also have here this afternoon the Honorable Deputy Speaker of the Ogun State House of Assembly. Please join me in welcoming Honorable Balogun with a round of applause. You're most welcome, sir. Like I said, we shall be doing a lot of recognitions, but please do not let the recognitions overshadow the reason why we are here today. We are here to celebrate a great Nigerian. We are here to celebrate a great man, a great leader, a great teacher, a, a role model. It, these days, when they say, who are your role models? This man is one that a lot of people, successful people, will readily point to as their role model. So without wasting any more time, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, if you will permit me to skip every other recognition and welcome the celebrant of the day. Do we all agree that we should do that? SGF, sir, do we agree? Can we skip the recognitions and just welcome the celebrant? KBC, do we agree? Thank you very much. All right, so I'm going to invite Evangelist Ebenezer Obey to please stand by and help us welcome the celebrant of the day. Oh, he's the saxophonist, whoever is doing that, everyone stand by. Let's get the program started. Today is a day of joy, it's a day of thanksgiving, it's a day of celebrations. Many of us pray to get to this ripe old age of 80 in good health and looking dashing as very, very funky as Ashiraju is, looking very agile and very strong in all parts not just mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, materially. So, I'd just like to invite all family and friends to please rally around him as we celebrate the goodness of God in the life of our dear father. Go! 
Excellencies, our special guest of honor, our royal fathers, captains of industries, families, relatives, friends, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen here present. Once again, I welcome you to this glorious celebration of a most honorable, highly distinguished, and greatly revered father grandfather, teacher, mentor, and role model. An exemplary Nigerian, an astute business icon, 
a devout Christian, a wonderful family man, a passionate developer of not just his community, but the country at large. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, please a round of applause as we welcome the celebrant of the day, our father, Ashiwaju, Thomas Tayo Ajayi, and of course, his lovely wife to the event. In the true spirit of nationalism and patriotism that epitomizes the person that he is, he specifically requests that before we start this event, he would like for us to honor our fatherland by all rising for the national anthem of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. All movement should stop once the national anthem starts. Thank you all, you may be seated. Please a round of applause for yourselves. We'd like to welcome all our distinguished guests once again. So many royalties to mention and acknowledge, but like we said, in the interest of the program and the interest of time, we will move straight ahead with the program and suspend all recognitions for now so that we can get into the event proper. And we'd like to start with a short word of prayer. I'd like to invite the very Reverend Justice Shegun Ajayi to do the honors of leading us in the opening prayer. Reverend Justice Ajayi, if he's here. Uh, he's very close by. He may just make his way down. Okay. Thank you, sir. the Lord. Shall we please rise as we pray? Father, in the blessed name of Jesus, we thank you for our gathering today. You, our Lord, was gracious enough. Eighty years ago, you sent your son into this world. Today, we are showing our appreciation for what you have done over the years. You have been so good to us by all that you have done in his life. And we say glory be to your holy name in the name of Jesus. We want to thank you for our spiritual leaders that are here. We want to thank you for all our royal fathers that are here. And we thank you for all the excellencies that you have brought to this occasion. We thank you for the way you are using them in their different areas of assignment. We are praying that your good hands will continue to be upon them in Jesus' name mighty and everlasting father we thank you for our eyes that are seeing this good thing lord we won't only see it here lord by the time we come to you in heaven you will honor each and every one of us in the name of jesus for as many as are looking unto you 
for successful achievements like this. We pray in your mercy and in your grace. You will look upon us and help us to make amend where we need to make and to march forward in the name of Jesus. We commit every aspect of this program, the remaining aspect of the program, into your mighty hands. Spirit of the living God, lead us through in the name of Jesus. Cause your holy name to be glorified. None of us will live here with regrets in the name of Jesus. We shall all live with the blessings of the Lord God Almighty in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your holy name. In Jesus' wonderful name, we have prayed. Thank you very much, sir. You may be seated, people of God. Thank you, thank you. So today's celebration is divided into two. Uh, of course, is our daddy's 80th birthday, but we are also going to be uh, showcasing them for the first time doing the public launch of his book, of a book in his honor. We're going to share that with you shortly. But before that, you know, daddy is also passionate about culture, about his community, and we do not want that to lag behind. So we have a special cultural performance from the Elisha, uh, Elisha Dance Group. They'll be coming out to entertain us shortly. Please relax and enjoy the entertainment. After which, we will go on into the first part of the event, uh, which basically is the book launch, before we go into the 80th birthday celebrations.
Ali the touch of my shadow For your sake I never touch you Yeah Could you drive around for my passion Baby Bunny You say you like the way I I get to run Baby Bunny Baby Bunny Baby Bunny So because of time, the Alesha group, we are just going to give you five minutes. Five minutes because of time. Um, we are really running behind schedule, so please, not more than five minutes. Uh, Evangelist, please uh, just allow us to run through the program before we come to entertainment proper. Thank you. Hello. Amo ma kwa shobi o. Amo ma kwa shobi o. Kama veni se. Iwe tani iwe tani o. Kero wa wo kero wa wo. Hey, 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 
moju ba o e ba fe ledun ma re ri ba o ifo ba ledun ma re moju ba ki ba se Congratulations. Happy belly brown. Congratulations. We mojo wo mi pe me. Congratulations ajayi. Congratulations. Happy Sally Brown, congratulations, 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 happy Sally Brown, congratulations. Hey, 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 Moju Baba Sonjo, eh, Moju Ba, Iba Vele Du Mare, Iba O. Eh, Moju Ba O, Iba Vele Du Mare, Iba O. Iba Vele Du Mare, Oji Di Mokia, eh, Moju Ba, Iba Vele Du Mare, Iba O. Eh, Iba. Iba fele du mare iba o Iba fele du mare so bi ya mo kia eh moju ba o Iba fele du mare iba o Eh moju ba o Iba fele du mare iba o Iba fele du mare moju ya mo kia eh moju ba o Iba fele du mare iba o Congratulations! Congratulations! Hello, <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations, Oh, 
Ode. Thank you very much. I say. Once again, we welcome His Royal Majesty, His Imperial Majesty, Kabesi, the Oni of Ife. We welcome um, all our royal fathers here present. Without wasting any more time, Chama. Without wasting any more time, we're going to go ahead with the program. Please, everyone, kindly take your seats. Kindly take your seats. Yeah. So thank you very much. So why exactly are we here? I'd mentioned earlier that we are rolling two events into one. The 80th birthday celebration of our father and also the launch and public presentation of his autobiography. A book that is very essential, particularly in today's Nigeria. If we do not learn from people of impeccable knowledge, people of very wide experience, like Ashiwaju, who would we learn from? It's on that basis that I'm going to invite to just come and shed a bit more light onto this gathering. I will invite Dr. 
Mr. Deji Ajayi to do the honors. <laughs> Thank you very much for the doctor. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, the technical guys, can we get some more volume on those mics? Thank you. On the two mics. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, Your Royal, uh, Your Royal uh, Majesty, uh, the only officer, KBC, uh, uh, other Royal uh, Fathers of the Day, uh, His Excellency, uh, Mrs. Olu. Uh, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Obasanjo, <laughs> you're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, other special uh, guests uh, in attendance, thank you all very much. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome. My name is Deji Ajayi. Uh, I am the third uh, son of uh, Ashwaju uh, Tayo Ajayi. Uh, today is a very special day for us uh, because... Uh, Marking 80 years, it's uh, definitely not a small feat. <laughs> uh, we appreciate everybody that has traveled from far and wide uh, for this uh, occasion. We really appreciate uh, everybody making our time to join us. Uh, the purpose of our gathering today is, uh, one, to celebrate uh, our father, and uh, the other reason is to do Okay, okay. Oh, okay, better. <laughs> okay, for his book launch. Uh, thank you all for making our time to join us. I really do appreciate this. And on behalf of the entire Jai family, I say a big thank you to everybody. Uh, the book launch uh, basically captures everything that uh, has happened in the last 80 years of my father's uh, life. Uh, from when he started his education to when he started his career and also when he went into politics and until he eventually uh, ended up in, uh, 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 well, when he ended up <laughs> in retirement, basically, let me put it that way. So now, uh, after this uh, uh, decision was taken that we should do this uh, 80th birthday, we, we decided that there were very key people that we needed to uh, carry along with what we're doing people that have featured one way or the other in his life, people that have participated one way or the other, and uh, this calls for a great celebration because our father has actually been with a lot of uh, people over the years, you know, people that have brought a lot of value to his life, people that have contributed one way or the other, people that have contributed one way or the other to, you know, his life. Uh, you guys would excuse me, I'm really not used to this, but <laughs> I'm trying to make the most of it. So. My father, uh, growing up, there were a number of things that he taught us. There were a number of things, values, that he always imbibed in all the children. But as we grew older, we started to learn much more about all these things that he taught us. Uh, the three key components uh, that I will mention. The first is, uh, the first is uh, kindness. The second thing that I'll mention is uh, generosity. And the third that I'll mention is uh, selflessness. Now, between these three things, if you merge them together, you would agree with me that uh, over the years, the kind of selflessness uh, that, that our father has exhibited, not only in supporting the immediate family, but also the entire community. He's actually been someone that has been so selfless he served on different uh, platforms, uh, from the Constituent Assembly, uh, representing uh, uh, Ijebu East. Then also, uh, he served, he had two tenors uh, as the local government chairman. Uh, for those that also don't know, he has a, a background in uh, banking. So he started his career as a banker, and after banking, he uh, transitioned into 
um, he had transitioned into uh, politics. So after, no, he went into business. Sorry, I skipped that. <laughs> he went into business for uh, some years. And after business, he eventually veered into politics. So now, after politics, we looked at it and said, Daddy, you know, you have actually done so much. You've served the community and you've served the nation. Why don't you, uh, at some point, you know, we, we felt it was time for him to uh, slam on the brakes just to relax a little because he's someone that, you know, you cannot stop him from working. He's just a, a tireless person. He never gets tired. So different ideas come up that he tells us. He says, Deji, look, listen, when we started banking, this was um, back in the, in the, they were the first set of uh, uh, people in the first bank. So from first bank, he now gradually uh, went into private business. This was at a managerial level. So after he left uh, the banking and he went back into business, he also did pretty well. Uh, he did very, very well in business. Uh, after business, he decided that he wanted to veer into uh, politics again, as I said. So, but all through this period and all the time that he's been doing all these things, there was something that was very, very special about my father. In terms of uh, the three words that I used earlier, kindness, number one. When you talk about kindness, this is a man that has actually sacrificed so much. Instead of thinking about himself, he thinks about taking care of every other person except himself first. Now, a number of things that my father also taught us about making sacrifices. I realized at an early age that generosity was the way that he actually got to where uh, he got to in life. But you see, there are some selflessness, uh, selflessness that you can't explain. So I would share a few things very quickly. T, sorry, how Okay, well, the purpose of our gathering today, uh, as I said earlier, is, is uh, split into two. First is to celebrate my father's 80th birthday, and the second is uh, for the autobiography uh, launch, which uh, uh, pretty much captures everything about his life as he transitioned from the professional uh, aspect of his life to the political aspect of his life. Uh, I would also use this opportunity to appreciate uh, the special guests that have come from far and wide. Thank you all very much, and uh, we hope you all have a very great time. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much, Mr. Dij. Once again, we say a big thank you to everyone for coming. Like I said, because of time, we'll be moving very fast with the program. Uh, we have a good message from our chairman. The chairman of today is our Chief Olushegun Obasanjo, former president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, GCFR, who is ably represented here by his lovely wife, Mrs. Bola Obasanjo. And she's here to read his good message uh, to the celebrant. Uh, let me also acknowledge our royal fathers who came in. Uh, with KBC, the honor of Ife. KBC, you're most welcome once again. I welcome the, uh, my Egbo as well, who is now uh, our royal father as well. KBC, His Royal Majesty, Dr. Olufolari Olukayode Ogusonwo. You're welcome in the Telade the Fourth, the Alara of Ilara Kingdom. KBC, Asoya of Isoya Land, you're most welcome as well. Thank you so much for coming. So we'll take the good message from Mrs. Obasanjo, and then we'll proceed with the program. Thank you very much. His Royal Highness, Kabiesi Oni, our father, His Excellencies, our royal fathers, spiritual leaders, our Baba, along with you, Tomu Gogo Walara Jikpepe, Baba Wa, Evangelist, Shiv, 
Ebenezer Obe, the celebrant, our Baba Ashiwaju Thomas Tayo Ajayi, and his amiable pretty epitome of beauty, the wife, and the whole family of Ajayi. I brought you greetings from my husband, our Baba, Chief Olushegun Aremu Okikiola Obasanjo GCFR PhD. My dear brothers, please. My, bro my dear brother, Ashiwaju Thomas Tayo Ajayi, please accept my heartfelt congratulations and felicitation with you and your dear family for your honoring me to move around to be with you today for your 88th birthday. May you understand I'm a man of so many parts. But I have you at the top of my mind. I've sent my wife to represent me. I wanted to be with you today to join you in appreciation God for his goodness in your life and to be by your side as you launch your autobiography, Triumph of Tenancy. But for other pressing engagements, I have asked my wife, as I said earlier on, it's just trying to intensify, to mention it, because his mind is with you over here. Let me welcome you to the Octogenarian Club. That's 80 years. And to say to you that age is just a mark. It's just a number. You are as old as you think, and you are so young as you make up your mind. Thoughts and feelings make you. Let me also thank and congratulate you for your service to your fatherland, Nigeria, in the past, especially what we are able to do together in my days in active politics. Let, it, let me remind you that there is still a lot to do for Nigeria. Finally, I wish you a very successful day, happy birthday, and many happy returns. Yours sincerely, O.O. Obasanjo, 7th of August, 2022. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, the wife of our chairman, Chief Mrs. Olushegun Obasanjo. Thank you for that goodwill message. At this time, having taken the chairman's message, it's time for me to once again introduce our special guests, the Secretary to the Federal Government of Nigeria, who would also give a brief goodwill message in the person of Mr. Boss 
Mustafa. Please a round of applause to the engine room of the Nigerian government. The chairman of the occasion, His Excellency President Olusegun Obasanjo, GCFR, heavily represented by his amiable wife. You are the son of this day. Congratulations, happy birthday to you. You are the son of this day. Congratulations, happy birthday to you. You are the son of this day. Nah, always a governor. You can only be described with the year of your tenure. From where we borrowed it, there is no former governor and there is no former president. Our celebrant for today, Asuaju, and my big uncle, Ajayi, and members of your family, distinguished ladies and gentlemen I stand here today on behalf of my entire family to wish you a very happy birthday as you turn 80 years of age and to also congratulate you for documenting the experiences of your life in a book that will be launched very soon where the upcoming generation will be able to do all lessons empirical lessons of life I have known Aswaju Ajayi for the past 34 years I first met him in Abuja in 1988 when we got elected into the Constituent Assembly to craft the 1989 Constitution. And that was where our friendship started. He was much older than me. I was a bubbling young man, not married then, but was able to win elections. Yola federal constituency comprising of three local governments and that was how I got to the constituent assembly and he also came in from Ogun state representing his constituency and we struck a working relationship that has nurtured and has been sustained over the years and I can say I am one person that has also learned from the fountain of knowledge, of wisdom, of experiences that are encapsulated in the man we are celebrating today, Asuaju Ajayi. <laughs> Sir, God is not done with you yet. You have so much to offer, and I'm confident that if we can just learn to walk in the steps that you have walked, all of us will make a success of our chosen professions, occupation, and even our ventures in politics. I remember in 1999, after all the elections, in the turbulence of the elections in Ogun State, you survived twice as a chairman of an opposition party as against a party that was controlling the entire state. That presupposes only one thing, that you are a man of your people. 
If not, you would not have survived an election process under a different ruling party at the state level while you won your, party, you won your elections on an opposition party platform. Keep that fate with your people. I know you are a community man. Whenever I happen to talk to my friend Bola, who is your nephew, I get to know that virtually every week you return home to fraternize with your community and with your people. Wherever you go, we will always return back home. And the testimonies that come from home will be the testimonies that will be most enduring. And that is the legacy that you will leave for your children and grandchildren yet unborn. On this auspicious occasion, sir, I wish you what I've written and is capsulated in this particular uh, brochure, that God will sustain you. God will continue to bless your life in sound health and prosperity. We will draw, continue to draw from the wisdom and the fountain of knowledge that is embodied in you. We will not let you go yet. We will keep you here until we are able to suck you completely. Then we can release you for the other side of eternity. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you very much. Our special guest, the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, for that goodwill message. Like I said, so many people to introduce and recognize. Our chief launcher is here. He's been here for quite a while. The person of Honorable Dr. Ladi Adebutu. Please a round of applause for him. We also like to take a short goodwill message from him as well in celebrating Daddy's 80th birthday just before we launch the book itself. Of course, for those of you who are very versed in politics, you would know that Dr. Adebutu is the PDP gubernatorial candidate for Ogun State. You're most welcome, sir. Your Excellency, the Secretary to the Federal Government of Nigeria, Mustafa, we greet you and greatly appreciate you for making our time today to honor our father and to honor Ogun State. Because in coming here today, you have honored Ogun State and you have encouraged us because our Baba, Baba Jai, He's an icon and he's a mentor. He gives us something to look up, up to and from him we learn and we take examples. The title of the book is Tenacity. Tenacity. And that is what we have learned from him and of course that is what we have learned from our guy as well. When we talk about Baba Ajayi, of course, we must talk about our Oga Otuba Gwenga Daniel as well. At the later stage, we'll get to that as well. So we, we thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming. May God prosper your ways as well. May God give you speedy journeys home, safe journeys home. And I'm sure one day, hopefully, we'll be on the same side of the divide as well. Thank you. I'm a 
must extend my courtesies as well to my Baba, the Imperial Majesty, on me of Ife. My own Baba, a very special Baba, in one single day, you honored my father, you honored my family, the Odole of Yoruba land. On that same day, very unusual thing, you honored me as well as your true Odole of Yoruba land. For that, the Adibut family will always be grateful to you. I will always be grateful to you. And as we pledge that day, we'll always be loyal to you. Long live the Oni of Ife. Long live Yoruba land. Long live Nigeria. Thank you very much. In that same vein, I extend my courtesies to all the cabinets here seated because from you, they derive authority. We greet you. Kabisio. Adiakpelori. Batakpelese. You can add the bear and we'll lure you. One must share view. I must now move on to the celebrant. Baba, we have leadership in Ogun State, but yours is a special kind. It is not easy to leave Ogun State and come to Lekki, but anywhere you go, we go with you. Anywhere you go, we go with you. Because you have fought right. And it's not often we find leaders that say what they mean and stand by what they mean. And stand strongly by what they mean. We greet you. And I'm happy that you can count me amongst your sons. And I'm, I'm, I'm certain, I'm sorry, I can say this to my younger ones. I am your firstborn. Somebody please clap. <laughs> I'm your firstborn. And I am certain by the grace of God, you will not go away quickly. You will not go away quickly. At 80, you have just started life. And God shall reward all your hard work and we shall prosper together. And I'm sure by the time you are celebrating your first birthday, we shall do it at Okay Boston together. Somebody say amen. 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 Thank you. I cannot extend this courtesies without going on to my Oga or to Bagwinga Daniel. A large number of us are seated here today. But we are your students. We are your students. And the truth of the matter is, uh, I tell one now, no matter how much we graduate, no matter how tall we are, the truth is still that we are your students. No matter all the games we play, no matter the shenanigans, no matter the deviations, uh, at the end of the day, you must recognize that we are your children and you must take us as such. We greet you. We appreciate you. May you continue to prosper. Thank you, sir. I must also extend our courtesies to the great political family because today we are here and we are happy. It's one big political family. We have ended up in different parties. Otumba Benga Daniel, as we can see, is on loan to another party. Baba Jai. It's still where Benga Daniel left us, but we know at some stage, um, because we are one family, 
we will still speak the same language. At one stage, we will still speak the same language. I am not here to campaign, but we are one political family, and we are all acting in the interest of Nigeria. So I pray God that one political family, one Nigeria, we shall be in the interest of a great nation. I seize this opportunity to extend my courtesies to every help, everyone present as well, because we're here to celebrate a great man, and by the grace of God, for those that have not achieved 80 years, we shall achieve that. For those that have achieved 80 years, and God shall grant them the grace to go further for the betterment of mankind. Thank you very much. And of course, I must send my regards to my Baba, Baba Obasanjo. In absentia, he's not here. A darling father and, and mommy, we appreciate you. I have a special uh, regard for mommy. I don't want to be partial. Mommy is from Remo, and I'm a, a Remo indigenous as well. So every time I get an opportunity, I hug her and please extend my regards to Mama Baba. Thank you very much. God bless Baba and he shall still do more for Nigeria. Extend my courses. Thank you. God bless. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. Our chief launcher. Having given your own goodwill message, we will now go straight ahead into the book launch. Uh, let me first of all introduce the editorial team and the publisher of this very special autobiography. In no particular order, uh, the editorial team, Mr. Yemi Fadairo, uh, Mr. Leko Olagunju, please stand up and take a bow wherever you are. Please, a round of applause for them. And of course, the publisher, CEO, Mr. Steve Olashupo, please, a round of applause for them. Because of time constraints, we'll not be at, um, allowing speeches. Just uh, take your flowers where you are. We acknowledge your contributions. At this point, I'm going to invite a very special friend, uh, and senior colleague in the industry, Mr. Benga Onoiga, to do the honors. Mr. Benga Onoiga, to do the honors of introducing the book launch. Please, everyone, be seated. The book launch is very, very important. It's a very special moment. And um, we're going to be taking some uh, special roles during the book launch. Uh, my former lecturer uh, in the great University of Lagos. Uh, one time commissioner as well, Professor Awonusi. These are people who teach you English and you have no choice than to pass. So he's doing the honors of doing the book review. So please let's all be as attentive as possible as we go into the book launch proper. Thank you. The KBS is the celebrant and his wife. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I want to be very, very business-like. I'm here to read the citation of the reviewer of the book, Professor Victor Olushegun Awonusi. He was born in 1952 at Ilushin in Ogun, Water side local government area of Ogun State. He had his primary and secondary education at Ijebu and uh, passed his uh, school certificate in 19... 69 in Division 1 before proceeding to Adeyemi College of Education Undo. Prof, please. A round of applause for our reviewer. He's a shining star in our area, Ogun Waterside. Yes, he also attended University of Lagos for his Bachelor of Arts degree in uh, English, English and then Stanford University. California, United States of America, as well as uh, University College in London. He was awarded a PhD degree in English language and linguistics, you know, specializing in phonetics. 
by the University of London in 1985. Professor Awonusi started his lectureship career at the University of Lagos in 1981 and has served for 42 years. He indeed obtained the Unilag Long Service Award a couple of months ago before his statutory retirement at the age of 70 in March this year. A round of applause for him, 70 plus. <laughs> he also lectured briefly at the uh, uni Universität Duisburg University, pardon my pronunciation, in Germany. He was appointed professor of English in Unilag in the year 2000. In the University of Lagos, he had held many important offices and membership of over 20 councils and senate committees, such as head of English department, sub-dean, school of postgraduate studies, and the university orator, as well as chairman Unilag Radio, you know, the board of uh, governors of Unilag, Unilag Radio. He was equally elected president, Nigeria English Studies Association, and served as external examiner in 16 universities in Nigeria and professorial assessors in several universities at home and abroad. I'm abridging the whole thing. Professor Awonusi has held many public service appointments. He was a commissioner for education in Ogun State, commissioner for education, science and technology in Ogun State. He uh, was equally member and a commissioner in Ogun State Local Government Services Commission and consultant at the Center for Democratic Studies, CDS. He had, this, he had distinguished appointments in university administration such as, such as Vice Chancellor Taishola University of Education, Ijagun, Ijebu Ode, Vice Chancellor of the short lived University of Education, Kano, and lately Chairman Federal Government Visitation Panel at Federal University, Building Kirby, to mention just a few. Professor Awonisi has served several academic distinctions. He has served several academic distinctions, awards, and peer recognition, such as Fellow, Nigerian Academy of Letters, Commonwealth Fellow, Fellow English Scholars Association of Nigeria, Best Faculty in the Faculty of Arts, uh, Researcher Unilag. I can go on and on and on. But let me quickly conclude by saying he has mentored many younger academics by supervising over 150 masters students and producing at least 15 phd students some of who are now professors themselves professor our own professor shegwa awonusi has over 70 publications on a variety of issues like english phonetics and phonology forensic linguistics socio linguistics public speaking, business communication, and regional studies like Nigerian English and world Englishes. We are learning new words from this political giant. I mean, <laughs> academic giant. Um, we have politicians all over here. Lastly, Professor Awonusi is widely traveled. He has attended and delivered keynote addresses in different countries. And uh, in Nigeria, he has delivered conference papers and keynote addresses in countries like Ghana, Benin, Tanzania, Kenya, Zambia, South Africa, Ireland, United, United Kingdom, Germany, Netherlands, France, and Belgium, as well as Singapore and uh, China, and in many, many American universities. Let me just end here. Ladies and gentlemen, my pleasure to introduce Professor Victor Olushegun Awonusi from proudly from Ogun Waterside, Professor. A round of applause for him. Now his review. Also in O level and A level certificates, coupled with indirect prodding of people, he got admission into the University of Lagos. The relatively young, young but mature Tayo enjoyed a flashy, albeit enviable lifestyle 
as an undergraduate, which is still combined with hard work, resulting in his graduation with a BSc political science, upper second class, in 1985, and topping it with an MSc in 1987. The reader is also introduced to a studious, restless, and industrial joy as a banker and businessman in the sixth chapter. While his, his schooling at TTSC provided him professionalism as a teacher, his acquisition of additional quantification of a diploma in computer science prepared him for banking. And with a score of 94% in the entry examination, an excellent performance at the interview, he got a lucrative employment in banking, and, and that exposed him to business in and out of Nigeria. He took the bold decision to resign from banking in 1978, when he established Tencom Group of Companies, thanks to his earlier exposure to business management as a petty trader. His ability to get his company subcontracting relationships with national and international organizations rapidly made him a successful and wealthy businessman, thus showing positivity of tenacity. Next, we are introduced into his life of loving and, and, and marriage. His first wife, Abla, of Ghanaian parentage, gave birth to his three persons, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, the toll of long banking hours, which did not allow him to return home early enough, and other negative allegations impacted on the union, and it ended in a divorce. Efforts of family and friends to settle the disputes notwithstanding. If meeting and chatting his first wife on the bus was an act of bravado, the, the meeting of his second wife tested his patience and tenacity to the limits, as he had to sail ahead and wait for hours for her to finish her day long work before discussing with her. The second wife, a medical doctor, Dr. Shehi Ajayi, worked at College of Medicine, University of Lagos, and had a very busy schedule, but he was able to profess love to her and eventually got married to her. That union was also blessed with children, and today, she, Ajay simply refers, fondly refers to, to his wife as a role model. It is interesting that his wife then, Dr. Ajay, is today a professor of the University of Lagos. Same chapter provides a compendium of the biological and non-biological children children of Chiva Jai, and how he responsibly nurtured them into maturity with good quality education. The next six chapters details the foray of Ajayi into politics, starting with his sources of motivation, that is his parents' vexation with dignity of labor, hard work, and fairness. Unfortunately, his first attempt at getting elected as a local government chairman was not successful because his court contestants refused to settle for only one candidate. Tyler's tenacity would not let go. His, his steadfast party loyalty and ability to win new friends helped him to win a higher status election into the Constituent Assembly, where he emerged the spokesperson of Ogun State delegates. This is followed by a chapter that explains how he became a victim of the intrigues, harangues, hooliganisms, and deceptions of politics a la Nigeria when NROC broke into two factions. He eventually registered his membership with the PDP and with his party uh, and with the support of party stalwarts and league, leaders of his local government. He was elected as the local government chairman of Ogun Waterside local government. His election made Waterside the only PDP-governed local government 
in an AD controlled Ogun state under the governorship of Chief Oshoba. The chapter further explains how inadequate funds prevented him from successfully responding to certain challenges of development. However, since President Olusha Gobasanjo was in charge of the PDP-led federal government, he was able to secure national funds for the provision of electricity and clearing of water hazards. This led to Ochoba's attempt to arrange his impeachment because he collected allocations directly from the federal government and not through the state government. But thanks to the dexterity and firmness of President Obasanjo, the threat was nipped in the pole. Thus, government, yielding grounds to the plea of Obas and many people in his local government, allowed Chief Ajayi to contest again. And this time, he won handsomely as a local government chairman. And he was able to perform excellently well in terms of infrastructure development, education, and agriculture. This is followed by how he explains the complexity or process of upgrading ballership into ship in the waterside, and citing the examples of requests from communities in waterside, he successfully processed the, uh, the request, and in the case of Makumomi, it led to the installation of the Oshobia stool. Although that was eventually cha challenged by some of his people, who argued that process of appointment was more important th than the categorical imperative of upgrading a particular ballet. And the next chapter outlines the philosophy that aided his successful performance of Shifa Jai. It, it itemized that Shifa Jai alone executed 33 projects successfully in different subsectors of education, health, agricultural and infrastructural development. And the 19th chapter throws into sharp focus the religious faith and challenges of Shiva Jai. We started with the Anglican, Anglican tradition, but his education in a Catholic teacher training college made him to switch denomination to the Catholic order. But eventually he came back into the fold of Anglicanism in 1980. In this respect, his numerous and significant contributions to the House of Laity on the one hand and support for the House of Clergy on the other hand resulted in his being elevated at the parish level to Babaijo of Makumi and also to the Grand Patron at the Ajikinri level. Chief Ajayi takes the reader also into his medical history in the, in the following chapter. He explains that his early upbringing characterized by balanced diet based on natural fresh food placed him on a sound health pedestal. But in addition, but the addition of imported spices and food and drinks in later years negatively impacted on his health. Consequently, he has suffered from complications resulting from diabetes and hypertension twice. But God's grace and good medical services in Lut and overseas have saved his life. Similar to how his life was saved when he recovered from a car accident injury in earlier years. This is also quickly followed by a very short, uh, short chapter that explains his role as the head of Oshobia in council in the successful production and installation of the current Oshobia or Oba of Makumi, although a few people naturally will disagree, but the Oshobia is successfully installed. And the last chapter of the book 
perhaps the longest, is a portrayal of Otuba Ajayi in the eyes of the people. That is, immediate and extended family, fellow townspeople, friends and associates within and outside the shores of Nigeria. A few examples will suffice. His wife, Professor Sheyi Ajayi, describes him as a jovial, loving, caring, husband kum prayer warrior who is a steady ashiva or goal getter. The children, biological or non-biological, fondly refer to him as a loving father, motivator, spartan but humane disciplinarian, and someone for whom chi children are high, sorry, someone for whom good education of children was a compelling obsession. It is not surprising, therefore, that all his children are highly educated. To his relatives, he is a selfless leader who really supports people, while to friends like Otuba Udumade, he is an icon of integrity. And to Shifo Noiga, he remains a princip principal dogged fighter. While a former governor of Ogun State, Otuba Gwenga Diana, describes him as a cerebral administrator, and even the Canada based Mawa hoping that his activities confirm the appropriateness of the use of the title honorable. Now, by the way of summary, Chief Ajayi's 193-page autobiography is a significant work that draws from authentic archival sources, official records, and passionate recollections. It is therefore a major reference point in the demystification of tenacity as the proportion of triumph. Filial family relationships, value of industry, the highs and lows of politics in a Hobbesian setting. And also the unquantifiable grace of God and the complex relationships between man and society. The publication is also unique because it has 73 pages devoted to pictures or photographs, thus showing a deft exploitation of the principle exploitation of the principles of semiotics, effective communication. The blend of texts and pictures enhance the authenticity of the narrative, while linguistically it aids rapid comprehension. The, the infusion of inspirational quotes at the beginning of every chapter reflects the author's intellectually informed research on the one hand, and motivation for the readers in confronting life challenges on the other hand. The excellent thematic organization of the work aids progressive comprehension, a few episodic mix-ups or repetitions notwithstanding. Future editions can be further enriched if the current Shabia and a few political associations across ethnic and partisan divides at a few more comments. The same ladies and gentlemen, in an age when many publications are marked by many grammatical infelicities, I can authoritatively pronounce that this book is written in simple, flawless English, such that its lucid style makes reading a pleasure. I therefore happily recommend the book to readers in diverse disciplines and those with variegated interests. The youth who need motivation and inspiration to achieve educationist quest for strategies of dutiful parenting, social scientists seeking to learn how man develops his environment and promotes culture, historians who seek to know the chronicling of events in society and business enthusiasts interested in the efficacy of sound business management, not also sparing the researcher inquiring in, into how the unwavering commitment or tenacity or purpose of purpose of Ashiwaju Ajayi has helped him to succeed in navigating, in navigating the crescendos 
and diminuendos of life in different socio-political and cultural space. The autobiography will convince the reader that in a nation bedeviled with many developmental challenges and ethno-religious contradictions, the moral compass provided by Ashiwaju Tayo Ajayi's life provides a pathway for understanding and solving the myriads of society's problems. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, this significantly invaluable publication is warmly recommended to all and sundry to read and enjoy. I thank you all for listening. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Professor Awonusi, for that fantastic book review. Once a lecturer, always a lecturer. It did justice to the book from the opening page to the end. I'm happy that um, some of you had a dose of what we had in Unilag for four years with Professor Awonusi. Please a round of applause for him once again. Thank you very much for that. Wonderful book review. All right, uh, Mr. Noiga, where are you? We are going to go ahead with the book launch itself. All right, now that the book has been reviewed, we are going into the launching proper, and our chief launcher, who has been with us from the beginning of the program till now, will kickstart the launching of this book, The Triumph of Tenacity. So the chief launcher, Dr. Ladi Adebutu, the gubernatorial candidate of the People's Democratic Party for next year's election in Ogun State, is our chief launcher, and he will come out to do justice. And indeed, Bell the cut in this launch of the triumph of tenacity. Dr. Adebutu himself, is a lesson in tenacity, so we know that it will do justice to this. Your Excellencies, please allow me the privilege to stand on existing protocols. First and foremost, I'm directed by my master, Otuba Gbenga Daniel, to act on his behalf, because as our culture demands, when your guy is seated, you have to give way to your guy. So I humbly give way to him. He shall be the chief launcher on this occasion. He has asked me to act on his behalf. Therefore, I stand for him as he has just left the seats. So I will launch on his behalf. And I shall launch on my, my own stead as well. And I shall launch for the political family as well. So for each of these three positions, we shall donate one million naira each. In total, three million naira. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for kickstarting the book launch, three million naira in the bag. I'm sure we will go around 
others as well. We have so many captains of industry here who might also want to be a part of it. Um, I see so many bank MDs, um, a couple of people from the oil and gas sector, and even the public sector as well. We shall visit each and every one of you. But before then, we are going to take uh, some goodwill messages, some congratulatory messages uh, from the screens. If the technical guys are ready, let's take all the congratulatory message, particularly particularly that of Mr. President, the President, Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. That is, as you can see, that the good of from Mr. President. Congratulations. Happy birthday to you. That is all of the day. Congratulations, I'd like to invite to do the honor of Congratulations, happy birthday to you. Now we reduce the music. That is all of the same. Congratulations, happy birthday to you. To read the president's message. By Dr. Lolati, good honor. In the Lodja Ibiye, Eku Asheye, Eme Hasho Koe. In the Lodja Ibiye, Eku Asheye, Eme Hasho Koe. To read the president's good to the message, once again, I'd like to invite Dr. Lola Day. President's congratulatory message to um, Asiwaji Thomas Tayo Ajayi, my dad. Um, I write on behalf of my family to felicitate with you on the occasion of your 80th birthday celebration. We are glad to share in joy of this um, auspicious milestone. 
This occasion highlights your enormous achievements over the past, of, past 80 years. I wish to personally acknowledge your outstanding leadership qualities, be described as triumph of tenacity, in tandem with your caption of your autobiography. You have been a blessing to our dear nation and have um, made indelible marks on the sands of time in Nigeria's rich history, as well as countless positive impacts on the lives of so many people. I recall the um, enormity of your contributions when you were elected to serve in 1988 to 1989 Constituent Assembly as the member representing the then Ijebu East um, local government area and is, as a two-term chairman of Ogun Waterside local government area of Ogun State. For these and much more, we are grateful to God for preserving you in good health May God Almighty in his infinite mercies continue to guide you, sorry, guide your steps with discretion, grant you good health, and bless you beyond measure. Happy birthday. Signed, Muhammadu Buhari, the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Thank you very much. So at this point, uh, we're going to take a video, some video messages. We're going to take some video messages. But before the messages, let me quickly take a goodwill message and birthday message from Senator Lali uh, Mustafa. I just want to say, I'll a good message on Ashiwa Jutayo Ajayi's 80th birthday. It's a privilege to extend this good message in honor of Ashiwa Jutayo Ajayi. On the occasion of his 80th birthday celebration and public presentation of his autobiography, as a leader, you have coached many to success and they have turned out as great men and women in the society. As a community leader, you have impacted positively on the lives of your immediate community Ogun Waterside, and other parts of the state. You are a teacher who has been consistent in the development of people in our area, and your passion for politics over the years has been about working to build a better community constructively. As a two-term local government council chairman of Ogun Waterside local government, your leadership style was results-driven. That created the benchmark whereby public service is about meaningful and purposeful delivery of dividends of democracy. You are a highly principled, friendly, and loving leader to us. As you celebrate your 80th birthday and public presentation of your autobiography, I wish you many more years of joyful fulfillment in life and good health in your golden years as an octogenarian. Regards, Senator Lalikon Mustafa. Senator Ogun East Senatorial District, National Assembly, Abuja. That's a good message from Senator Olaleko Mustafa. So we'll take the video messages, and then we'll take a few more good messages here so that we can quickly cut the cake and move to the bandstand where Commander Ebenezer Obe is waiting. We have just a few more items on the program. We'll quickly run through them. Uh, the first thing is the video. Can we play the videos, please? Uh, I just want to, uh, I just want to say happy birthday to my daddy, grandfather, mentor, everything and everything he is to me. Father, I wish mentor, you long life and prosperity. Everything and everything in he good is to me. Health. I wish you long life and prosperity in good health and wealth. And we love strong. you, daddy. Keep living and keep staying strong. Daddy, words words fill me today to describe uh, Daddy, the immense pride and words, joy. Words fill me today to describe you, as everyone has gathered, the immense pride uh, and joy to celebrate you. Uh, we all have for to you be celebrating as eighty gathered, years and have uh, an autobiography. To celebrate you, you written, to be celebrating uh, eighty years and have an autobiography. You've written has had its ups and downs and achievements. And that has I know it has you been a journey as, uh, which has had its ups and downs. And that has shaped you. We appreciate you as a respected man and father. 
Uh, we love you, we appreciate you, we thank you for everything you've done for us. Um, so today as we celebrate you for your achievements, I pray that God has blessed you and kept you with an amazing family and beautiful friends around you, continue to keep you in good health and in prosperity. God bless you, Daddy. I love you. Greetings and I pray that you Canada. have a great day today. This is Deborah Arthur. I would like to wish our Daddy Greetings Ashwagi from Canada. Tayo this Ajayi. is Deborah Arthur. A happy I would birthday. like to wish our Long Daddy life Ashwagi Tayo to you, sir. Ajayi. A today happy birthday. we celebrate the legacy Long life of a great and prosperity man. to you, sir. And the gathering of everyone today here we celebrate is a the legacy to your of a name, great man. The Bible says and the gathering of everyone here is, better is a than testament gold. to your good we, name. Your family, the Bible we says of your is better than silver and is better than gold. We, your family, we testify of your noble character, and as a nation, we celebrate your integrity and your courage. You have lived a life of sacrifice for your family and you've lived a life of sacrifice for your community at large. We love you, Daddy, and we pray that the good Lord will continue to keep you and uphold you and that you will continue to see the goodness of God in this land and now and forevermore. Happy birthday to you, Daddy. Bye. Greetings from Toronto, Canada. I'd like to wish Ashiwajo Tayo Ajayi a very happy birthday. You know, an honorable person is one that is honest, noble, reputable, worthy of the greatest distinction, honor, and class. And sir, you are the perfect depiction of an honorable person. It has been said that he that does good for good sake, without looking for fortune or fame, will get both at the end. I mean, look at all to light your path with goodness. And we're looking forward to celebrating many, many, many more happy years with you. Again, happy 18th birthday, and I wish you the very, very best. God bless you. So I'm going to invite the following people. Mr. Dayo Ajayi. Mr. Dayo Ajayi, Bolanle Ogunpolu, Mr. Shola Ajayi, and Honorable Demola Odumade, to say a few words. Please, everyone should try and keep it on down a minute. A minute at the most. One minute at the most. Uncle D. All right. So for the Goodwin messages, uh, we'll wait for the first one or two to come out, after which I've been reliably informed that we can actually proceed with the, with the program. The next thing will be the cutting of the cake. Uh, the SGF, our chairman, chief launcher, you will join daddy at the cake. Uh, where's mommy? Please get mommy ready so that we can quickly cut the birthday cake and get the program, uh, get the party going. So I'm going to invite the secretary to the government of the federation, Mr. Boss Mustafa, to do the honors of overseeing the cutting of the cake because he's the one who is proposing the toast as well. So we'll invite the celebrant to join, the celebrant and his lovely wife. We'll invite our chief launcher, Dr. Adebutu, to also join. And then we'll invite the family. Of course, Kabiesi, this cannot go on without your royal blessing as well. Okay, mommy, are we ready?
All right. Our special guest of honor, Mr. Boss Mustafa, is here, the chairman. Please, can we allow the celebrant and his lovely wife make their way to the cake so that we can cut the birthday cake very quickly and then move on to other things on the program. Majesty, all our royal fathers here present, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. This is one of the high points of this occasion, where we have our daddy, our uncle, Aswaju, Tayo Ajayi, cut his 80th birthday cake. He has been ably supported by His Emperor Majesty and our Royal Fathers with his wife and the Chief Launcher. What do you want us to spell before he cuts his case? I would, I would suggest we spell grace because it is the grace of God that has sustained him. Okay, can you follow up with me? Give me a G, an R, an A, a C, and an E. Grace! very much before he takes his seat I have the singular honor to propose a toast I think uh, you, uh, as well as you, you can go back and sit while I, I propose a toast please can you fill up your glasses with water with wine with any form of drink Yes. You can take your seat, sir. The Royal Majesty. Yeah, yeah you can take your... Okay. Um, 
Celebration. Government of Nigeria, FDF, 
We just want to take the family pictures. All right. Commander Evans Obey. All the children, everybody, please come out now. We're going to take just one picture, just one photograph for the entire family, just one. All right. We're going to start the party soon. We want to take a, a family picture, only one picture. So I expect all the children, grandchildren, everybody to be outside now. We're taking just this one picture so that daddy can go and sit down and a uh, commander can play. But just one picture, one family picture and that is it. Just this one family picture and that's it. Don't let us stress daddy on his birthday. Commander, just give us, just give us two minutes. All right. See, uh, the family, we are not going to waste that this time. Whoever is here is what we will take. Mommy, Edro Tokoi, Entoba Wambi Lamaya, Entoba Simbi, Wafira was in no Photoshop. All right. So we're going to take the pictures in five, four, three, all of you that are running, edit is SR. <laughs> okay. So we're are we ready? Photographers, take photographers. Everybody look this way, this way. And all right, like I said. 
We're good. Whoever does not appear, they will know that the person is walking. Uh -huh. All right. Three, two, one. Daddy, everyone look straight. Three, two, one. Smile. Say cheese. Say 80. All right. Thank you very much. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. All of you, go back. Go back to where you are. Where you were. Go and continue your work. Daddy, you can now sit down and enjoy the party. All right, Commander Binis Obey. The stage is yours. And you learn on the As you want your mother, come on, I your guy. It's only you, I 
much very distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen the entertainment of course is now fully in full swing right about now the celebrant of the day would like to take to the dance floor in front of commander Ebenezer Obey our evangelist father who is gracing today's occasion celebrating another very great Nigerian so Ashiwaju We'll do the honors with his lovely family to come on the dance floor and celebrate his birthday with, King, with Evangelist Chief K, Evangelist Dr. Professor Ebenezer Obe Fabi MFR. Back, back to E, engineer. And on Sunday, do something with this. Alayo, Thank 
Is it better, my Jesse? Oh, but they are you. I don't know. Is it better, my Jesse? My son, for your sake, oh no, I'll be here. 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 I'll I'm 
I am sure you have done well. Don't want to die. I I I Oh, my God. 
son of the day. Congratulations, happy birthday to you. God is all of the day. Congratulations, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
Go up at the agent. I think I could be pressing. They tell you that they are checking. I'm in the Santa Yasa. I'm in the Santa Yasa. Yes, sir. Respect is reciprocal. Even though we're not no suspension. Anybody. We know what to do. Anybody. We know the body body. I know come this guy to suffer If I follow politician You go here and for paper They go call them prostitution Who don't like enjoyment If money pay for pocket She be not national budget We go blow Oh, 